Hello friends and beautiful people. It is Catherine. Hello and happy Monday to you. I hope you're having a beautiful week so far. The smoke has finally cleared out and we're enjoying some fall-like weather and it's it's really glorious today. And Finn is enjoying trying to play ball ball with all the leaves on the ground. Look at how many leaves have fallen already. It's so crazy. It's like boom just like that it's fall so when you slow down when you slow down in your life you introduce yourself to this very interesting paradox because it all speeds up around you but not in the way you think when you slow down everything around you accelerates but not in the way you might be thinking we live in a very fast-paced world already. Arguably, we have come into a time where there are more and more distractions, more and more things that vie for our attention at any given moment. And it becomes a little more difficult to discern what needs our attention the most. What do we need to prioritize? Um, what things that are coming into our awareness really need our attention and focus most in the moment. And the natural response for us to have as humans is to speed up to match our environment so that we can catch up with life, so that we can, hi Lori, so that we can manage all of the things that life is throwing at us. But this is not a way to align with or merge with the intuitive age. And the intuitive age is an ushering in of a level of reality that matches the ascension consciousness on this planet. As we move towards being a more evolved species, and yes, it's happening, even though it doesn't look like it some days, most days, that's what's happening. What we're going through is a major sorting out period. And it is hectic, it is chaotic until we get there. But it's really important that when you can center into yourself and slow down, you realize that you don't have to react in response to a hectic and chaotic environment. You get to change your inner reality to allow yourself to interact and respond to your outer reality in a different way. This is the nature of things and as we move into ascension consciousness. Hi, Chelsea. Hello, beautiful. We can't do this without embracing that we are in an intuitive age. And that means that communication wise, we are moving towards the silence, the telepathy of communicating with not only each other in the human family, but all of consciousness itself. It is a way of being that exists in silence, meaning without words. We're getting our practice with this now. And to live intuitively means to slow down, to center yourself, and to slow down into presence, to expand the now moment and wring every droplet out of that expansive energetic real estate that is the now moment, because that is where all the answers, that is where all the solutions exist. And in reality, everything else is hallucination, everything else is illusory, the idea of past or future. They are all nuances of something that we feel in the now, in the presence of now. And the more we deepen into that, the more we savor each now moment, the more we profoundly connect with what is now and only what is now, we become more discerning. We start to have greater clarity about what it is that's calling for our attention and does it need our attention? Does it bring value to us to give attention to this or that thing, the situation, yet another weapon of mass distraction? When we slow down and deepen into presence and we savor the now moment, we be with the pause that refreshes. That's how I refer to it in living intuitively. The pause that refreshes is another way to say the now moment. When we deepen into that, we have this experience of all of this acceleration happening around us, but not in the way that you think. 
It's not an acceleration and an uptick of all of the things vying for our attention. Rather, it is an acceleration of our level of awareness to be able to view, to see, to know, to feel into the things that are calling for our attention that are choosing us. In other words, the language of the soul is silence, but it is a feeling, it is a nuance. It is a way of finessing the awareness of life where our soul is showing us the opportunities, the people, the situations that are choosing us to evolve in a way that is aligned with our soul's expression. There is such a profound shift that takes hold in this place and it changes everything. It can't not. It changes the way you view the entirety of reality itself because it changes you in your heart. And here we are busy in life trying to change everything with our mind. It's not gonna work. And certainly not in the intuitive age and certainly not as we evolve into a higher frequency of ascension consciousness. And talking about the entire planet and each and every one of us individually. I wanna share with you how profound this is. I want you to know how this changed my life. It changed everything I'm doing in my business. It changed everything in how I approach every single relationship uh, I endeavor to be in and maintain and also create in my life going forward. It has created a ripple effect through every single essence and fiber of my being. And I want this for you. I want you to know what this feels like. I'm not talking about just another program that teaches you some interesting tools and some novelties that you can employ. Living intuitively is a way of being. It is a vibe. It is an essence that you aspire to and strive to and master. And this is the, always the way that it was meant to be for us to live intuitively, to embody super conscious flow. So this really profound double program, and I call it a double program because we have six weeks of live calls, live teaching, as well as each week having a supplemental recorded teaching that only deepens you into the material and allows you to bring this information in so it can become a practice, an art, this kind of stillness, the sacredness of the silence, the slowing down. It is a practice but it's also an art and something that we must be able to master if we want to move into ascended consciousness with ease and grace and flow. You can do this now. And when you do, everything changes. It really does in the most astonishing ways. I've made no bones about this really. And if you followed me, you know that I've talked many times about at the end of 2021 and into the first few months of 2022, um, I went through a pretty powerful experience. To call it a dark night of the soul is really doesn't give it credit. It was more of a, a hitting spiritual rock bottom. And it affected everything in my life, obviously. It affected my business. Um, I withdrew um, from the things that maybe I wanted to put forward, but nothing felt really in integrity for me. The, commitments that I had made, I followed through with them, but I didn't want to put myself out there in a way where I wasn't feeling pure, that I wasn't feeling in integrity because that's a big part of how I run my business. Ask anyone who's enrolled in my courses. It's something I talk about a lot and I truly believe in. If you don't offer something from a place of purity, what goes out there in the world and translates in, into form is then not pure. And so here I was stuck in spiritual rock bottom and it felt like clawing myself out of a pit. This program, Living intuitively, intuitively, what I'm sharing with you starting October 5th, although the first module opens on the second, is basically not only how I clawed myself out of this pit and you know, resurrected myself from spiritual rock bottom but it is a way of being, it's a way of living. It's not just a way of putting a band-aid on a situation. It's not just patching up a bad and nasty problem. It is a way to proactively and preventively be in a place where this doesn't have to happen for you again. 
we don't have to, you know, consecutively and consistently go through dark nights of the soul. We can learn how to, to, to surrender to this process of the ebb and the flow, the peaks and valleys of the spiritual evolution, the human evolution process that we're all undergoing. And when we do embrace this with a lot more ease and grace and flow, and we learn how to slow down, you'd be surprised, astonished in fact, at some of the shifts and the changes and the outcomes that start to take place and take form and very quickly in your external reality. I want this for you. I want to share this with you. Living Intuitively starts on October 5th. The first module opens up on October 2nd. This is a six week deep dive intuitive immersion. It is not the ABCs of learning intuition. We are beyond that. This is more spiritually advanced application of living the intuitive way in the Ascension Age. If you're excited about this opportunity and you want to be able to move into this level of grace and ease and flow in your life, I welcome you and invite you to enjoy this program. So I'm going to have the link down below here and you'll be seeing a lot more of me in the coming weeks talking about this. Also, if you want a taste of what it feels like to increase your intuitive sensitivity. I'm offering a two day workshop in my visionaries, luminaries and divine disruptors private group. It's going to take place on the 19th and the 20th of this month. If you want to come and join us for that, it's only $55 and you get to enjoy access to all of the other things that are in this group for one full month. There are energy activations, guided journeys, uh, journal prompts, um, pop-up live discussions that I've had. These are all in the group and you get access to that and the workshop that I'm doing live. So how can you refuse really? And you'll get a deeper taste of what's gonna be offered in the Living Intuitively program that starts October 5th. So information down below on that too. Or you can just reach out to me. So thanks for watching. Have a beautiful day. Love and peace.